Hey, thanks for tuning in. Tonight we're going to go over a recap of America's Sex Top Model, uh, Cycle 24, Episode 3. Yeah, yeah. So the first thing that I like is when they go over the makeover assignments. Actually, I didn't like this scene, but Liberty, she's blonde, um, they tell her that she's going to be a redhead. Okay, I'm a redhead, so <laughs> I definitely find this offensive. But she was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to look like a fire crotch because she's supposed to be a redhead. That, for those of you that don't know, that is extremely offensive. <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. Um, and one of the other girls um, kind of vouched and was like, that's like really messed up. You don't say that. But yeah. It's Trump supporters. Tell me. <laughs> so the second scene that I like is... Uh, the girls, there's, like, drama that happens. The first, well, it starts with Christina, um, and she, by the way, Christina is the one that had originally badmouthed the judges in the first episode, mm. um, and one of the other girls asked her to throw some trash away because she was standing by the trash can, and she, like, flipped out. <laughs> <laughs> She started playing the victim and then kind of, like, turned it into, I think she, like, thought that the girl was calling her trash by asking her to throw the trash away. I don't know, but she just, like, went crazy. Um, yeah. She got to go. Yeah. So the next thing that I like is when they do the actual makeover. The first one, well, when they, like, first talk about um, what makeovers people will get, Cora the um black girl she's like she has like um not a lot of hair um but anyways they tell her like oh you get the cora so what that ends up being is she gets to keep her look because hers is already like really cool um and then gina she's the girl with alopecia um at first i kind of thought that it was really messed up that they made her shave her or not shave her head just take her wig off um because obviously it was like something that really hit close to home and it made her feel super insecure but she actually looks really amazing so that was all right hey doesn't your boyfriend have alopecia <laughs> he does <laughs> um it's not as bad as people make it out to be um and then christine christina mm. she i don't know i don't know what they did with her they gave her green hair <laughs> <laughs> i don't know where anywhere green hair is attractive. slime <laughs> she got slimed um <laughs> <laughs> liberty um you know the one that turned to a redhead and wasn't happy with it um they gave her, like, a light redhead. It's almost like a strawberry blonde. It's not bad. She looked hot. Redhead I mean, hot. Redhead, red Redheads hair does hot. not look bad at all. <laughs> sure does it. I don't know. She just flipped out for nothing. How about that MILF? She looks good. She looked pretty good, too. Um, she looked good. And then there's Liz. She... I don't know. She, in my opinion, kind of looks a little bit trashy. But I with the makeover, she looks less bad. So so the next scene that I like is they do a high fashion video shoot. Ooh, um, didn't they usually do photo shoots? Yeah, so this this is new. Um, I think it's the first one that I've seen. Um, but they have Liberty, and she actually did a really good job. The judges loved her, or just like the people... Um, they loved her, and they said gingers do have more fun. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I go for the ginger. Um, and then they have director S. Um, apparently, he's some big director, but... Um, what does S stand for? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> shooter? <laughs> <laughs> so the next scene that I like is during, the, while the video shoot's going on, there's a fight between two girls. Um, one of them is like arguing, or one of them saying that she looks like a boy and she's kind of having this little pity party because she has to wear a jacket. Um, and then the other girl, who's the bald girl, she's like, 
she tells her she's like, girl, I'm bald as fuck. Um, <laughs> that shit was fake as fuck. <laughs> well, it was. It was staged because there's two cameras on each girl, and just like, just by like the ways the cameras are, like it's not like it it's just like planned. happened behind the scenes. Yeah. So, anyways. Too convenient. So the next scene that I thought was good, um, they it's like kind of their the show's attempt to show that they relate to people with alopecia. Um, so bullshit. I didn't mean to laugh there. Okay, so yes, LaRoche, yes, yes. he shaves his head so he's bald. I actually think he looks a lot better. It's um, LaRoche. Okay. <laughs> and then Drew Elliott, he has vit- Vitiglo or... Vit- I don't know either. Some Sorry. Thing. Sorry for it. Um, but yeah, so it just kind of showed that like their attempt to recognize that that's an issue and try to like make it show them that like other people have those things too and it's okay and you can still be beautiful and love yourself so and the next one is the judges panels of the girls video shoots so there was they talked about one i don't know her name but she had like the mug face (laughs) um wasn't a fan she sucked um (laughs) Then there was the, like, really mean girl. Um, she was the one that's, like, consistently been mean throughout the show. The judges were saying that she was one-dimensional and just, like, all around not good. The next one was <laughs> Shanice. She turns out she has psoriasis, like, on her scalp. And so because of that, she didn't get a makeover. Um... But her shots were really boring, so it was just like, bleh. Um, Overall, none of them were really impressive in their video shoots. Like, there were a few that kind of stood out, but, like, it wasn't very good. Most of it was pretty boring. And then the girl with the pink hair just was gross. (laughs) Like, the outfit, no, the outfit was gross. Her hair, like... Her hair could be cute, but, like, it just didn't work. I didn't even talk shit on this one. You did it for me. So, the next one is where they talk about who will be cut. So, um, first, when they're talking about this, there's, like, the bigger girl. She's the one of the plus-size girls, and she's, like, crying because I don't remember why. <laughs> Self-confidence but... again and again and again. <laughs> But when I first saw that, it's like, you're not going to last in modeling if you're crying. I mean, yeah, like, you might have, like, a few moments like that, but you have to have thick skin and you have to be fearless. Otherwise, like, they're going to chew you up and spit you right back out. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. (laughs) Excuse me. (laughs) They did end up cutting her because of that reason. Um, She's just too much of a newbie to be top model. She needs to, like, try out and start being a model first. So. Burn. And then the last one was there's more drama. Of course, they have to end it with a little bit of drama. Um, One of the girls who's, like, kind of got... She's kind of, like, one of the trashy girls on the show. She talked bad about, like, her hair or someone else's hair. And then another girl said something about her family being trailer trash and that just like blew up but in the end it was kind of anticlimactic i think that fight sucked yeah they didn't even fight they just made noises yeah and that bigger chick's like way bigger than her like why'd she get scared (laughs) well i mean they're not gonna punch each other on the show dude that would be make that would make that show so much better no they would scratch each other right no but anticlimactic Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Stay tuned for next week for episode four.